Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Zenit Lessons. In this video, I am going to talk about the process of how you can add the e uh, the Kali Linux distribution inside your EVNG virtual machine, and then you can test uh, the uh, Kali Linux um, tools, right? Now, in order to add the Kali Linux, first of all, you need the EVNG. I mean, if you want to add the Kali Linux inside EVNG, you need the EVNG and also the image for the Kali Linux. So, I am running my EVNG on my VMware Workstation Pro and it is working on, you can see, 192, 168, 199. So, let's go ahead and log into the system. okay and admin and eve is the password which is saved by default and i was able to log in now if i go to node and type in linux here you can say my linux node is grayed out because there is no linux distribution over there as kali linux is the um i mean uh, a flavor of linux only and it is debian based so ubuntu is also debian based so most of the commands that are used in ubuntu would be used in linux as well the cli commands now, second thing that I need is to download the um, image of Kali. So, the best place to download the image is to go to the website of Kali, which is the, I think, Get Kali, Get Kali uh, Linux. If you hit and you will get, yeah. So, this is the uh, web page, kali.org slash get Kali. This is where I want you to go. Now, what we are doing is we are running this inside a virtual machine right so much virtual machine has different um uh, what do you say uh, ways to do it so for example you have the vmware you have the virtual box you have the chemo oh, these are the uh, reports and then you have the chemo so this is what we are using the chemo kvm right so you can download it directly or you want to use a torrent um, uh, based uh, download you can do that i have a torrent client I can do that I will just click on that and I will click on this and this should open this inside my BitTorrent or something that I have so you can download that and the the torrent speed would be better than uh, running this directly if not you can click here as well on this and this should start your download so I would download from here and uh, you would have to wait for the download to complete and then we can come back and start the process again okay great uh, so the file has been downloaded now I'll, I'll open the folder where this is, has been downloaded i'll extract this say extract here and in the meantime i need vinacp and i will log into the virtual machine right and then I would connect to 192.168.1.199 my workspace login password is EVE okay so you will have to go to the root folder and in the root folder you have to go to this directory which is OPT and then inside OPT you have to go to unit lab inside unit labs you have to go to add-ons and inside add-ons you will find the chemo folder once again once you are in the root folder you will have to go to opt unit labs add-ons and chemo inside chemo i don't see any folder for linux so i will create a new directory and the name should start this is very important the name should start with linux and small letters and hyphen and then anything any distribution you are adding for us we are adding the Kali so I will say Kali 2023 okay so this is the format of the naming right Linux hyphen anything that you want now I feel like the yeah so this has been copied uh, sorry extracted so I can go here and drag and drop this inside this folder okay so the copy has started once this um what do you say uh, the image has completely copied inside the evng file system 
um, once the image is completely copied inside the image file system I will come back and then we will see what step further steps we need to follow to make this work okay so the file has been copied over here so now uh, after the file is copied here so you have to rename the file with uh, word to our dot cow so this is the name that you have to um, rename this file into virtua.qcow2 uh, after this you have to enter the fix permission command over here so the fix permission command you can get it from google you can say fix permissions on evng right this command and the command is this op slash opt slash unit lab wrapper slash unl underscore wrapper uh, have a name and fix permissions this is the command you need to copy and then paste it inside the CLI I am going to paste it inside the we have reverse section pro if you are using putty or something you can paste it there enter and uh, I always do it twice to be safe once again yeah that's all now you can close this okay make sure you rename this file as um, as I have told you because if you don't rename the file exactly like this the image is not going to start okay I'll close this and I will go and go here and you can also go to the EVNG how to section to see the naming EVNG and if you go to how to right if you go to say EVNG section here now let's say I go to documents and say how to go to naming right here chemo namings if you scroll down there's a big um, table here and it shows the name of the folder and the file right so if you go and see a Linux any Linux yes it says the name should start with Linux hyphen in small letter right Linux hyphen anything then like I did Linux and then Kali 2023 and the name of the file should be this virtual and then the extension is dot qcow that should be always there right once that is done and then the fixed permissions then you can come back here add the node here now now I'll type Linux and I should see the Linux option here and that folder name here 2 CPU and 4 GB RAM is enough I'll connect this to a network because I want to connect to the internet management cloud save it I'll drag and drop a connection to the E0 that's all now whenever I, I add a new node I do wipe it first this is my habit before you start it okay and then you start it now it should turn blue and if it turns gray back that means the name of the file is wrong but for me it is working fine I'll double click and open this and wait for this to boot up successfully this is the latest 2023 version of Kali Linux mm, and Kali Linux is a favorite tool for most of the ethical hackers, pen intuition testers and also network security engineers to test the features of any next gen firewall so one tool many users and many usage okay uh, it's starting now it will take some time because this is the first startup now you should have the um, username and password here so if I scroll down I should see the control F um, user if I see user here I want to see the username basically what is the username yeah I can see that if you see here where is that one more one more and basically it was here only yeah login with user Kali and the password is 1234 okay let's try that user is Kali and password is one two three four one two three four 
Not working. Kali, Kali. Okay, okay. I think the username is wrong. Double I is there. One, two, three, four. Enter. Not working. Kali and Kali. Okay, that is working. Username Kelly, password Kelly. I think this was for the mobile variant or something. Yeah. Build for mobile. Okay, Net Pro, Net Hunter Pro, Net Hunter Pro. Okay, they have a mobile version as well, right? So that's great. Now I am inside here. Okay, now great. Now you can see there are lots and lots of tools that you can use for different purpose for vulnerability testing for web application analysis database assessment password attacks wireless attacks reverse engineering sniffing exploitation forensics reporting tools social engineering and whatnot now it's not the tool it's like a folder or a um, group of tools you can use for information gathering the tools are on the right hand side and you can see inside information gathering you can use all these tools to gather information right and Hopefully in the future I will have a couple of lectures demonstrating how to uh, do this. And uh, I just want to um, conclude this with the uh, with the idea that this is a Debian, so all the um, most of the commands that you use in a Ubuntu system are also working here. Like like if you want to see what is the directory that I'm working on, PWD it is showing your home Kali. And also if you want to see the host name, host name here, you can see that Kali is the host name. Right? You can also change the password for the Kali user. You can like this, right? And um, LS, everything is working, right? LS, um, you, can, you can do a CD, you can do a cat, yeah? Um, so all those commands are working here as well. So hope you understood the process of adding or importing the EVNG inside, uh, sorry, the Kali Linux inside the EVNG and uh, uh, I would see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. That was it for this video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.